That's why here it says that the impedance looking into the device is 1 over GF. Okay, so we can model this as Rs and 1 over GF connected to graph, right? Such a big simplification. But what is the meaning? The meaning is just that you apply delta V here, you will get a delta I correspond to a resistance 1 over GF, right? So with this, then I, I, I'm able to find out the relationship between Vx and Vin because Vx divided by Vin is just a potential divider, 1 over Gm divided by Rs plus 1 over Gm. Do you see this? Just like this. Potential divider, R1, R2. So X, so Vx divided by V in equal to R, I mean, this is R2. 2 divided by R1 plus R2. That's what I'm doing. Now R1 is Rs, R2 is 1 over Gm. Any questions? Okay, and so this one give me 1 over 1 plus G. GMRS, right? So the total gain equals to GMRD divided by 1 plus GMRS. That is the total gain when you have Rs, and Rs usually is the source resistance coming from the voltage, voltage source, right? If you remember, this is very similar to the common source with degeneration, which kind of makes sense, right? Because you have similar topology, except the input outputs are different. Okay, is this... Okay, any questions? I think about that. Why I can do this? Again, it's based on the definition of impedance. The impedance really is about, I apply a delta V, how much I I get. Then if you go all to all the details, it's just equivalent to the resistance, right? Now, the last thing we want to talk about is the output resistance of a common gate with source resistance. Let's look at the left. What type of amplifier is this? Yeah, common source with degeneration, right? Because the input is at the gate, output is at the drain, right? What is the output impedance of this circuit? First of all, we, how do we find it? R out equals to V out divided by I out when V in equals to zero, right? So because of this, I'm going to draw the circle like this. V out, I out. R S. Is this okay? Is this drawing okay? I need to ground the input and then I find V out divided by I out, all right? But we know the answer already. We solved the small signal circuit. We know this is R0 times 1 plus GM, RS plus RS. Done, okay? On the left, on the right, I have a common gate amplifier because the input is to here, right? And this is output. With a source resistance Rs, I want to ask you to find the output resistance. Then what do you do? Isn't that you do the same thing? V out divided by I out with V in equal to zero, all right? Then let me draw it. Again, I need to put V out, I out, and then I have the resistor 
I ground the gate. Why I can ground the gate? Because it's AC. Then I have this RS. I also ground this part. Why I ground this part? We need to be sure. Now you look at this one and this one. Are they exactly the same? I have two circuits, completely different circuit. One is common source with the generation. One is common gates, but the input voltage has a source resistor. When I want to find their output impedance, they're supposed to be very different uh, because they're just different circuit. I thought that they would be very different. Then I will solve the small signal and solve them, right? But now when I look at the definition, they turn out to be exactly the same. So if I try to solve the small signal model again, isn't that I will get exactly the same equation? Because I have exactly the same circuit. So I have exactly the same small signal circuit. Applying KCL, KVL, I get exactly the same result. Right? So this is another way to do inspection. Right? So that's why the definition is very important. Yeah, question? Parallel RD. Uh, where parallel RD? R0 parallel RD? Oh, I see what you mean. I see. Okay, thank you. Yeah, be because I only, okay, so yes, you're right. So I only concentrate on looking down. So thank you, the whole thing parallel RD, yeah. Yeah, but they are still the same, exactly the same. Okay, good point, yeah, thank you. Okay, let's look at the last slide of the day, right? So maybe look at this. You need to find the gain of the circuit. Two transistors, so complicated, right? Do not try to solve the small signal model unless the hint say that you need to use small signal because you don't know any equation, right? Based on what we learned today, first of all, what which circuit you want to match, match to? It is nothing you have learned before, right? But it's closest to which circuit? We have learned common source, common source with degeneration and common gate. Someone say common source with degeneration, which is also good because you see this, right? But the main point is that we're finding the gain, not the output impedance. That from the gain's perspective, you need to know the input and output. So where is the input, where is the output? Input is here, right? Output is here. So this is closer to which circuit? Common gate, yeah. Although this is not exactly at the source, right? Yeah, but it's closest to the source, right? So I will click, uh, if I really need to map, map to one of the circuit, I will choose common gate first, right? But again, you could have the problem, but this is not exactly the common gate I know because the voltage is here, it is not here. But we have learned to break it into two stages, right? Can we do something similar? Say again. Very good. Yeah, so many of you start ringing the bell, right? He said this is dial. Yeah, so let's let just combine everything together. Then you'll see how beautiful it is, right? So again, Equals to V out divided by V in, right? Set your feet on the ground first. Then we say that, hey, if I know what is Vx, then my life is simple. So you break it. And then you immediately realize that this one is just a common gate amplifier because from Vx to V out is completely just pure common gates. So it's GM. RD. This time I need to put GM1 because I have two transistors, right? And it is GM1, not GM2, correct? The, the problem is what is Vx divided by uh, 
we in. So let's say we are not very familiar. Let's draw the circuit one more time. Right, as an electron, I see Rs. Then I go to this transistor, which is M2. And then I also go up, which we just discussed. When you look up, what is the resistance? GM1 or GM2? GM1. Yeah, so we say that. Well, look up, we just discussed. This is 1 over GM1. Now the problem is, what is the impedance looking to here? And he said it's dial. It's dial connected transistor, right? Do you still remember what is the impedance of a dial connected transistor? If you forgot, luckily you did study and put in the cheat sheet. So you find that it's just 1 over GM2 when there's no channel length modulation. 1 over GM2. 1 over GM1. Okay? Now, this is two resistor in parallel. I just go a little bit faster. So, I can also just group them together. So, it is just equals to 1 over GM1 plus GM2. Right? Because this is just conductance add together. Inverse becomes resistor. Right? So with this, then I know that Vx divided by Vi equals to 1 over Gm1 plus Gm2 divided by Rs plus 1 over Gm1 plus Gm2. Okay? And just combine them together. I get a gain. Okay? For M1, are we grounding out the M? We don't grant anything. We just look up, right? So we try to look at the input. So he's asking whether it's 1 over GM1 plus RD. Do you see this? Okay, it is not 1 over GM1 plus RD, right? Because we solve it, we know that it's just 1 over GM1. RD has no effect. Very good question, right? No channel length modulation. If you have channel length modulation, it becomes this. Okay, that's what you need to do in homework. Okay, so try to practice and just email me if you have questions. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Ooh.